myself a right to share what I believe in. What's good people, Cash Cream Developments and welcome to another episode of Cream More Access. In this episode you'll see us working on this Polaris Slingshot. Amazing little machine, it's a freewheeler known as a reverse trike, 2.4 litre, just under 800 kilos and it's pushing around 170 horsepower. That's a lot of power for a little thing like that. Now it's coming, brand spanking you straight out of the showroom from abroad, Europe, as they don't have it here. It's been delivered here, it's a left hand drive, it's going away to Nigeria. Customers having a whole heap of work done on it. We're raising the suspension, doing a full custom exhaust system on it with our flamethrower kit, with having a full custom sound system. This has to be marine grade, so it's got to be waterproof. So it's having a full Rockford Fosgate setup, two subwoofers, 12 inches behind the seat, waterproof amplifiers, upgraded speakers. This is all going to be done by a custom installation. That's going to be real interesting as well. So don't forget to like, subscribe and share. And I hope you guys enjoy the video. Just fixing the last bracket onto the exhaust to the uh, chassis one. So I'm just going to well get up now. installing this titanium heat wrap now to ensure that another heat transfers through to uh, the plastic chassis the floor you see here literally is the only thing between the driver and the floor of the car and where this car obviously didn't um, originally have an exhaust system it came out literally from there down to here and that was it we've installed this now and where we're going to have a flame kit now installed on the car obviously it's going to generate loads of heat so what we're going to do is finish installing this heat wrap tie it down with these nice strong metal cable ties and then also some heat shield which I will install like so underneath the car and it's real heavy duty stuff and that way keep the heat out I really don't know what else will I'm confident that'll be perfectly fine I mean that on its own this is titanium heat wrap it's real real good stuff but be really careful when you're installing it because you get really itchy like I am right now my nose is on fire but that coupled with that will be will be ample so once that's complete I will then install the plug in the back. The flamethrower kit is completely installed at top. All I've got to do is throw the plug in the back and uh, we're good to go. So yeah, that's it. main man Mark here who comes in on all the jobs that we do all the custom audio installations he's a dad hand with uh, a bit of MDF and fiberglass all right yeah yeah all good yeah he's also one lavish car in Britain uh, I've had a few land cars yeah <laughs> modest land. humble guy so we've keyed up all the inside and now just laying what do you reckon Mark two three coats of uh, Matty yeah, here. about three coats. And that will strengthen for a subwoofer enclosure. That's right. So it's gone from a luggage box to a subwoofer enclosure. That's the one. Here's what we done earlier. Can we show them that one? So that's now ready. Just got to be cleaned up and ready to go. And the next stage is to make the face, right? That's right. Cut the subwoofer hole out, make the face, and get it all sealed up. So we'll go around, lay that up three times, and that should be sufficient to make the enclosure nice and solid. The fiberglass boxes you see us uh, fiberglassing upstairs, these are the front faces for it. And uh, what Mark's done, as you can see, is drawn out and copied the actual plastic face that's in the car, right? That's right. Mark it out to cut it out three quarter inch MDF. And this will sit on the face of the box and the subwoofers will be mounted here. That's yeah. right. So yeah, cut yeah. away. Okay. Right. How you doing guys? So today we're going to be working on the front door pod. But as you can see, Mark's adding this three quarter inch MDF panel to it and there's a reason behind that it wasn't always the plan this is the speaker that came out and this is what's going in Rockwood Frostgate six and a half inch two-way speaker which is marine grade as well so I mean which means it's waterproof 
problem is, you can see the difference. This speaker is really shallow, and this is obviously a lot deeper. It hits the back of the box. So, for that reason, we have to make this plate. On top of the plate, it's going to have an additional ring, which marks on the filling and smooth. And once that's done, it'll be covered in the, the red vinyl to match the rest of the car. I'll show you how we're getting on inside. You can see the ins install is pretty much complete now. The panels are in. They're all bolted in, solid, sealed in as well. The luggage compartment has now been transformed into a subwoofer enclosure. Both sides. This has been made from scratch. Again, everything's marine grade. A couple more amplifiers to go in. One down here, one on the other side. Subwoofer and uh, four channel amp, of course. Again, all waterproof. All the wiring has been run. So that's what I've been working on today. All the wiring, all the cabling for the amplifiers, the head unit. We've had to um, install a line out converter for the head unit as well. So it enables us to fit the amplifiers. So once that's now installed, this will all go back in like the stove. And there will be an iPad here as well, which again, we have to make a, a special enclosure for. So once that's in, we'll give it a test to see how she sounds. That should be really, really good. Looking forward to it. You can see there's no inner chassis of the car. There's no panels, there's no anywhere we can sort of tuck and hide away the wire. So the next stage is to uh, finish the door build in the front, which Mark's working on now. I'll finish off the wiring and uh, we'll give it a go. This is the new subwoofer. Again, waterproof just like everything else. Interesting to see what it sounds like, yeah. Okay, so moving on, this is the last pod that I've just completed now for the uh, Polaris. I have to split all these screws out, split the box apart, so I could get this part on. To put several screws from behind it to hold the pod mount on. And as you can see, the speaker now fits perfectly. Just wire that up quickly. And that will fit there like so. And that is all of the audio finally complete. Once this goes in, I'll wire this up to the amplifier, set all the sound up, so the customer hasn't got to do it again. I'll do it once for him, and it literally leaves us just to finish off the lighting on the car, and hopefully good to go. There you have it. Like so, the original factory mid and tweeter, I was going to leave them in, uh, well, leave them connected so they were working, but we uh, opted to go against it purely because of the amount of power that the amplifier is putting out for these speakers. So that would have just completely distorted and eventually blown. So we've now just disabled them all together and they're just there to look pretty. More than enough sound coming out of these. Get in the car now. So there we go. So what are you thinking, Mark, for, for the pod mount? I think a nice, just nice subtle like shape coming up. Nice flat screen. Good. He, right. he, he don't want a big boxy looking thing on his dashboard. Yeah. He wants it to flow with the sort of, you know the cuts and grooves the dash has yeah. got? Yeah. The whole car, the theme of the car. You Follow know what, the... what you've done with the V in the back? Yeah. Where the pods are. Follow the speaking. same. Just the... So I'm thinking like, if you look at, um, okay, the back of the, of the mount we're going to make for the iPad, yeah? So that's the back of the, um, iPad box. Yep. So the iPad is going to go in that way. Yep. Yeah. And it's going to be facing that way, of course. Yeah. So if we say we made a mount that looked kind of like it gets smaller as it gets mm. get back. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? So yeah. something like that. And <coughs> so we build this bit first and then we fix the front and afterwards. Yeah, so it's, it's, it doesn't have to be exactly that, but something along those lines. Yeah. And at the back of the um, the face mount, I think it'd be good to sort of contour it as well. So just a slight angle to it. Slight angle to it, just gives it a little bit of nice yeah. contour and definition. Uh, yes, yeah, see how you go with something like that. Yeah, I'll knock something up to uh, 
Let's see what you think. So we're getting them up? Yeah, we're getting there today. Um, I knocked this up, just uh, just going to follow the shape. Well, you've got the shape right, isn't it? Yeah, got the shape there. And we're going to box it all in. All these bits are going to go here, just to finish the, the curve off. And then the face can come off. Let's unscrew that. Trim it separately. Fits nicely in the in the dash. And uh, that should do a trick. So that's going to be uh, all wrapped in vinyl, just like all the rest of the, yeah. the custom pods and mounts that we've made on there. Raw cut at the moment, but once it's obviously sanded down, smoothed off, bit of filler, fiberglass, mm. all the edges will be nice. And that's going to sit on the dashboard like so. This, this, this here, as you can see, it's got a chamfered edge. It actually sits in the dashboard Locks in. perfectly. And this will actually uh, have another frame around it. Am I right? Yeah. So it's going to have another frame around that. So when the iPad goes in, it actually it's completely flush inside its own mount so it looks like it's part of the dashboard rather than looking like it's just plonked on, on top. I'm really happy with that, it's really good. Lovely. Radio, I should continue. Good job. So, the, so the Polaris slingshot doesn't actually come with HIDs as standard. These are high intensity discharge lamps fitted and as you can see it's got a nice cool clear white light to it. Let's have a look. This would have the Cummins factory, just the old boring yellow which doesn't really give off much light either and really kind of dulls the car up done one side already got to do the other side and it just gives it so much more brighter light and uh, makes it look so much more modern as well so that's next up I'm now doing polish this is fitting Mr. Paul finish Paul fitting Oh, oh, f***ing cargo. <laughs> he Can says, translate, he's going to polish some pieces. I'm going to fit the car up and then the f***ing cargo. <laughs> yeah. Correct? Cargo? Yes, yes. All right, so we're moving on to the final stages now. I'm wiring up the uh, neon lighting, SMD should I say, strip lighting that goes underneath both sides, uh, underneath the front bumper. So I run the cables in, I'm going to cut this AC power supply adapter and run it to a 12 volt supply, which I'll nick off of the 12 volt supply that I gave the LCQI, which is the line out converter for the audio system. It's a brilliant bit of kit this. It not only converts the signal from the speaker output to an RCA, which allows you to run amps, it also ups the voltage as well, so you've got a more powerful signal being sent to the amplifiers, which obviously gives you more amplified sound. So as you can see, Dave's welding in the background. He's cut the new plates to push the seat a whole four inches forward. It's got to be done properly with a box section on the rear section of the seat for uh, added strength. So once that's done, we can paint those sections, obviously uh, protect, the, protect the metal, stop it from going rusty, and then we get it back in the car. So here's the, uh, the new footing that Dave's uh, created for it. See the new metal plates. It's got a slight angle on there as well to take the uh, the weight of the passenger, so it's nice and strong. Same again on that side. Same on the back. And same on the left side. Just got a bit of finishing off to do. And once Dave's happy with it, I'll get in the booth and get Bubba to paint it. Give it a coat of paint. Prime it first, of course. I have to ensure that it's uh, it's waterproof, so it don't rust. We're really happy with that. Literally on the last and final stages now. Everything on the car is pretty much done. Just a couple of odds and stuff and we did to go.
And that's it, the last and final piece to the puzzle is now complete. This is going to be leaving us today. This here is the pod mount for the new iPad, which will fit in there like so. Perfect snug fit. And it's designed to be removable as well. And to do that, obviously, you don't want to be putting your fingernails in there like that. We're going to attach this little bit of red leather just to sort of match the theme of the car. And it'll just go in there like so. So when it's time to pull it out, you literally just give that a tug and that will come out because it will be attached with good old fashioned Velcro. And it'll just be strips in there like that and I'll just fit it in nicely. I'm going to give it a once over, double check and test everything's working fine and uh, hand it over to the customer. So, good time. Guys, so she's finally complete and finished. Massively excited. It's been a it's been a long run, but well worth it. She's going today for the first time and leaving the country, what we've seen ever again, being shipped out to Africa, Nigeria in fact. Again, it's another great day for us because it means that uh, another vehicle globally has uh, our stamp on it. So it came in as a standard factory Polaris slingshot. We have upgraded the lighting system on the car. We've got underground neon lights on the car as well which is a LED remote controlled as well it has got a full custom audio enclosure all custom marine grade equipment which means it's waterproof basically it's all originally designed for boats the front seat has been shifted and uh, put into a new position to allow the audio equipment to uh, sit you it's got a custom exhaust system on the car as well and a flamethrower kit completely heat wrapped using titanium heat wrap exhaust shielding all underneath the car to obviously keep it safe the vehicle has been raised two inches as well uh, to allow it to handle the terrain out in Nigeria. Obviously, one of the main biggest features is the iPad. That's, and as you can see, it's been beautifully done. Completely co constructed from scratch, mounted, and made to be removable as well, just by pulling on that leather tag there. Really happy on the turnout, and unfortunately, I can't meet the uh, client today to do the handovers, so Shabs will deal with that. Yeah, looking forward to all the pictures and videos. Hope you enjoy the video. Hey.